Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on inheritance and method overriding. In this lecture we look at what inheritance is, its importance and we'll briefly look at method overriding. Let's start with what inheritance is. Inheritance as its name implies it's a method where a class inherits properties and methods from another class. So in this case, we'll have a parent class, let's say parent, and then this parent class has methods, it has methods, let's say method one, method two, and let's say method three and let's say we have another class known as child and just this child class inherits methods from the parent class and then it will have let's say method four method five and let's add method one so this is the general outline for inheritance we have our parent class and then we have our child class in this case this child class class inherits from the parent class so we pass it in parentheses and the parent class has three methods methods one two and three and by inheriting this parent class, this child class is able to access the methods that the parent class has. So in this case, if I want to use, let's say methods two and three, I don't have to redefine those methods in my child class here. So by simply inheriting the parent, the parent class, the methods inside the parent class will be accessible and ready to use for the child class. So here the child class will be able to use these methods four and five and this three methods from our parent class. So that's inheritance. And let me give you a, a brief example of method overriding. Here I have, in the child class, I have method one, and in the parent class, I have method one. Let's say this method returns, let's say this method prints hi. So it simply prints that statement. And let's say this method prints hi there. So in all, even if this child class inherits method one from the parent class, it's able to override this method. Since we also have method one in our child class, it's able to override this method and then apply its own method. Since we have a method here, print high here, when we access method one, this will be printed. Hi there will be printed instead of hi. That's what method overriding is. Even if we already, even if we inherit a method, we can still override that method by accessing the same method that we have in the child class. Great. Next, let's see an example of inheritance we'll create two classes one i'll call it a house class and then we'll create a second class and we'll call that class a kitchen class class kitchen and that class will inherit from our house class okay let's say 
this is kitchen class and inherits from house class so that's a simple doc string let me go back to the house class and create a few methods in it okay we can say this is our house class this is our house you can say parent class let's create some methods in it so as we know the first is the init method then we simply pass self as its attribute and then we can simply print this is a house let's add a few more methods another method we can add let's say define and then color we'll pass self as its attribute then this method will sim simply print I am red okay let's add a few more methods let's say size and then pass self as its attribute and let's print I am let's say 3500 square Fit. let's add some more methods define location and then I'll pass self as its attribute print I am in New York then let's add one more method then we'll call it kind and it takes self as its attribute then let's print I am a townhouse next let's create our kitchen class let's initialize and add some more methods in our kitchen class so first one is the init method in it then it takes self as its attribute and then within the init method we will have to initialize the house instance okay that's how it knows that it will be inheriting from this house class so we'll be initializing the house instance so we have our house class name that then we call the init method i n i t and then it takes self as an attribute okay so this is initializing the house instance and then we can the kitchen init method can print out the following i am a kitchen K-I-T-C-E-T-N Let's add some more methods So define color self print I am cream in color Let's add another function call it let's say oven then we'll pass the self attribute print let's say I make food and let's pass one more method and si define size we'll pass self as its attribute let's print a couple of statements I am no longer 3500 square feet let's also print I am now 800 square feet okay 
now that we have our two classes, let's initialize or create an instance of this kitchen class. So we'll create an instance of the kitchen class. And then, so our kitchen class, as you see here, it takes one attribute, one argument, a self argument, and we don't have to specify self, we can just leave it like that. And let's save this instance of the kitchen class in a variable called, let's say X. Now, if we run X, two statements are printed. This is a house and I am a kitchen. So if we go to the init method, so within the init method, we have the houses init method. So it's referring to, it's accessing the houses init method. So if you go to the house class, it's init method has this statement, this is a house. Okay, so we are accessing the init method of the parent class. That's why this statement, this first statement is printed. This is a house. And the init method of our kitchen class also has this print statement. I am a kitchen. Therefore, the second statement is printed. I am a kitchen, right? Now, <coughs> if we say X that and then hit tab, you'll see a list of available methods that we have. We have color, kind, location, oven, and size. Even if we only have size, oven, and then color methods in our kitchen class, so color, oven, and size, right? Color, oven, and size in our kitchen class, we see two more methods here, kind and location. And those two methods come from the parent class, right? The parent house class has kind and location. So because of inheritance, we are able to access even methods that we don't directly have in our kitchen class. Let's access some of these methods. So X that tab, let's access oven. Don't forget the parentheses. So X dot oven, where is the oven method? So the oven method is in the kitchen class. So the statement will be printed. I make food. Let's run it. I make food. X dot hit tab. Let's access color. Let's access the color method. Let's see. So we have color in the kitchen class. And we also have color in the house class. Even if we are inheriting this color method from our house class, it will be overridden by the color class in our kitchen. So that's an example of method overriding. So if we run this, we'll get this. I am cream in color. Let's run it. I am cream in color. So that's overriding. However, if we comment out this color method and then create an instance of our object again, <clears throat> and if we run this color method, we'll get I am red in color. Let's run it. Now it's I am red. So that's method overriding. Next, let's see, so far we have seen color, we have seen oven, X that the oven method, we have seen the color method, let's see kind, so X that kind, so where is the kind method, we don't have kind method in the kitchen class. So it will be inheriting it from the house class and therefore print this statement. I am a townhouse. So if we run that, we get the statement, I am a townhouse. 
Okay, X dot tab, let's access location. Where is location? Similarly, location is found in the house class, which is the parent class. And due to, because of inheritance, we are able to access the location method, which is found in the house parent class. And therefore, this statement, I am in New York, will be the result. So I am in New York. And finally, we have the size method. So if we look at the size method, it's found in both the kitchen and then house class. And due to method overriding, these two statements will be printed. I am no longer 3,500 square feet and then I am now 800 square feet. Let's run it. And we have those two statements. So this is an example of class inher inheritance and overriding. Okay. We have our parent class and then we have our child class. When we create our child class, in parentheses we pass our parent class. In this case, house is the parent class. And then we we start with our special init method for our kitchen class. And we also have to initialize the house instance, which is the parent class. That's important. So in this example in this example, we are inheriting from one parent class. Okay. In the coming lectures, we'll see an example of how we can do multiple inheritance, how we can inherit from more than one class. Okay. We have a lecture that will cover that. Great. Thank you, everyone, and see you at the next lecture.